Hello and welcome. Today we're going to have a look at the Florian Nidlechter Bundesliga Player 2 objectives that EA have dropped today. Um, dropped several bits of content today, but the Bundesliga one is still what this video is going to be focusing on. Um, it's the normal standard format for league player cards. It's all going to be done in Manager or Masterpiece and there are these five conditions for people to meet to get the cards in their squad. Um, the first one is Bundesliga wins. You have to win 15 matches using only Bundesliga players in your starting 11. Now, you can bring your favourite players off the bench if you've got a Messi, an Mbappe, a Salah, a Sterling, whatever you want off the bench. That's fine, but at the start of kickoff, start of the match, you need only Bundesliga players in your starting 11. So that's that will earn you... One of those towards the 15 should you win, but yeah, starting Bundesliga players only. That brings a 75 plus rated player, rate, uh, rare rated player as a reward for doing that. And in those matches, you'll need to score 50, uh, sorry, 30 goals using Bundesliga players. So even if you do bring Mbappe and say Sterling or like an icon or something off the bench, the goals need to be with Bundesliga players. So you could. You could win your 15 matches without ever scoring a goal with a Bundesliga player, but then you're left having to meet the scoring prowess objective without having to worry about winning. So however you want to approach it, that's fine. The third objective is 20 assists using Bundesliga players, which is what we've got. Uh, here, standard format again, the 20 assists. The, third, the fourth one is the most tricky one. Normally takes me personally the longest to score four outside the box goals in separate matches. So if you score four in one match, it's only going to count you as one. You need to score one in four matches, basically. Uh, normal, most common one is um, normally chip shots over an advancing keeper, but you can also finesse round, like cutting in from the edge of the box and things like that. Um Finesse shots as well. You need six. You need finesse shots in six separate matches, all with Bundesliga players. So it's the same format, like I say, as normal. And the Nilek guard, it's a decent looking card, to be honest. I'm going to be <laughs> pretty standard and boring by saying it's probably going to be an engine chemistry card for me. Um, that would improve his pace and balance a little bit. The pace split is. 84.93 so sprint speed is almost 10 more than his acceleration so it's i prefer the other way around but you can you can cope with that it's still pretty good speed the dribbling actually six um, of the six stats for dribbling here four of them are 88 giving the overall face card stat of 88 there as you see his reactions are 93 and his balance is 89 the rest are all 88 um and his physicality is good, stamina 90, you can't really complain with, and he's six foot two, so he's a solidly built player. Uh, difficult to bully off the ball. So going into manager and masterpiece, as we see here, you've got an overall team rating of 79. That's the maximum rating that you're allowed for your squad. You can't use any bronze players, and you can't flood your squad with silver players. You've only got a maximum of three you can use. So going into my squad, which is the one I'm probably going to be using a variation of. And we've got Farm, Farman in goal. His diving reflexes and positioning are all pretty much near to 80. Um, solid back line. Got Afonso Davis left back at 81. is pretty good. It's all about that 96 pace. Alaba and Hernandez, I find personally pretty good. Solid pairing at the back. 82 and 84, you kind of expect that. Um, both got anchor cards, I've used them all over the place for Bundesliga objectives. And then Lena at right back, who's decent enough defending, stamina helps well, and basically just a solid right back to use. Um, although there are a couple of other options, you've got the special Diakati card and other ones that you've used before. Uh, we've got Stefan on the right wing, he's basically a standard winger card, really. Agility and balance are quite high, good acceleration. Um, basically just there to run up and down the touchline all day. Um, as with Sessignon, same kind of thing. Um, the dribbling's good, the pace is good, and he's used to, to passing into the strikers, so that's about it. 
toyed with a couple of central midfield suggestions. We're going to go with Thomas Muller, special card. I like playing with him. It makes the runs as the 99 attacking positioning shows and just helps with the attacks that are put together. Got with two attacking midfielders. Tempted to go with the defensive one, but the 75 rating, he's a good card for 75 rating. I find works well, despite the attacking positioning being quite low. The rest works quite well together and just suits me fine. Then up front, I've got the uh, Rainier Foot, Foot Future Stars card, which you're going to see a lot of. People will use different variations of it. He's got pretty much perfect acceleration, good speed all over the shop, decent card to use. And then the Huang Hai Li Le. Huang he Chan is also a card that you're going to see a lot of. He's a very quick striker. 77 rated means that um, it doesn't affect your overall rating that much. The 79 over here is what you need overall just to keep there. Uh, the bench, obviously, you've got your three silvers, which you have to have involved. So they're all on the bench there. You can just have three random 65 rated silvers. And then the low rated gold common cards just to keep the maximum amount on the pitch. Some of the cards you're going to come up against frequently is you've got the Paolo Otavio card, who is one of the Brazilian Samba stars that came out recently. And he's a, de he's a decent pick, but he's a silver's card. So I'd have to put another gold on the bench, which affects things. He just messes around too much. Um, also, the silver stars... Um, one Medica card, which is who's got insane pace, bit finishing, good all round card really, and we'll do the trick for you here. Also you've got Emery Can, who can you play in midfield along with the Umba Vancano. There's also a Diacati centre back card as well, and Delaney in midfield. You're gonna come up across loads of times when fulfilling the subjective. And make sure you have a Bundesliga manager as well, because that helps with any boosting chemistry that you might need for playing plays slightly out of position. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be putting forward for this thing. If you have any queries, ask below. There's normally uh, just things to be clarified. That's fine. And good luck in getting your Need Elector card. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.